Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the following diagram shows two pairs of chromosomes in karyotype of a man, a woman and their child. The man and the woman are phenotypically normal but their child, a boy, suffers from a syndrome of abnormalities including poor motor control and severe mental impairment. What is the genetic basis of the child's abnormal phenotype? Is the child hyperploid or hypoploid? for a segment in one of his chromosomes. Uh, so this is mother phenotype, this is father phenotype. Here is the child phenotype and mother doesn't uh, suffer from any genetic disorders, father doesn't suffer from any genetic disorders, but the child do suffer. So let's analyze. And um, if you'll take a look at the father's genotype, we see that he has two uh, chromosomes. Let's say this is going to be chromosome number one. So chromosome number one. And these chromosomes are identical, the same size. And let's say chromosome number two, also identical and of the same size. Let's now compare with mother's genotype. Chromosome number one, we see that one is longer than the uh, other one and chromosome number two is also uh, of the two different sizes. So this is homologous chromosomes and these chromosomes have to be of the identical size with identical set of genes. We see uh, in the child that chromosome number one of the different size and chromosome number two of the identical size. But child suffers from a number of genetic disorders. So what's going on here? Take a look. Let's uh, take uh, father's genotype because a father here has normal genotype and has uh, all four chromosomes identical. Let's say that this chromosome has 1000 genes. This chromosome also has one thousand genes and each short chromosome has 500 genes. So total number of uh, genes would be 3000. Let's compare with mother genotype. Let's say this chromosome has 1000 genes and this short one is missing a fragment. So let's say has 800 genes. And this one is identical to that of the father has 500 genes, but uh, this one is longer and has a fragment uh, that uh, chromosome number one is missing, this fragment. So we call this reciprocal translocation. So those uh, these two chromosomes are different but the missing fragment can be found here so the mother as you see would have the same number of genes say this uh, chromosome would have 700 uh, genes and total number again is going to be 3000 genes and let's now take a look what's happening with genotype of the of the child. So this chromosome is going to be 500 genes. This one is also 500 genes. This is going to be 1,000 genes, and this one is uh, 800. So if we add all these numbers, we are going to get 2,008. Hundred, so two hundred genes are missing here. So we have two uh, unbalanced uh, chromosomes. Every gene have to to present at least in two copies uh, on two homologous chromosomes. But here we are missing two hundred genes, and they are not balanced like in a uh, karyotype of the mother, where one of the small chromosomes got this fragment. Because each gene would produce some protein, 
so we see that the same proteins can be produced on just different chromosomes. But here we just missing this fragment and we don't uh, see that this child got this chromosome from the mother in order uh, to be also balanced. So uh, he has uh, this set of genetic disorders due to uh, absence of these 200 genes. So this is explanation why mother and father has uh, normal phenotypes and their child has abnormal phenotype. Now let's answer the last question. Is the child is hyperploid or hypoploid for a segment in one of his chromosomes? Because child missing a segment, we call that he is uh, hypoploid. And could this child be hyperploid? Uh, meaning that he would have extra genes. Yes, he could. Take a look. This chromosome he can inherit from father's side. He also could inherit normal chromosome number one from the mother's side, so he would be balanced here. But if he would inherit uh, any of these normal chromosomes from the father's side and inherit this chromosome with extra 200 genes on it, he would be hyperploid. So he would have uh, 200 extra genes. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.